This is history. The most astonishing political story of our lifetimes. Donald Trump set to move into the White House. A President Trump has no shackles. He won this his way. Celebrations and shock waves across the United States. Tonight, the future, the fallout, the stock plunge, and what it means for Australia. Our comprehensive coverage starts now. Live from our Sydney headquarters, this is 7 News with Mark Ferguson. Good evening. America is set for one of the biggest changes in its long history tonight. Donald Trump now set to occupy the Oval Office, a businessman who's never served in public office. Here is our live shot of Trump HQ where expectations are riding high as he claims victories in key battleground states. His promise to make America great again and his appeal to what he sees as the angry, silent majority looks to have worked. Our team of reporters is well placed. Chris Reason is at Donald Trump's official function in New York. Down the road is Angela Cox with Hillary Clinton supporters. Our political editor Mark Riley is in Washington. Tim Lester has the political fallout from Canberra. And Alex Hart is here in Sydney with the local reaction. First to Chris Reason. Chris, how is the Trump camp travelling right now? Good evening, Mark. Well, as you would expect, they are beside themselves with excitement. Just a couple of minutes ago, they were in unison chanting, call it, call it, demanding that the networks call the result on this. We know what's going to happen. They're reluctant to do it. But such a turnaround of fortunes. 12 hours ago, I was talking about the front of this Hilton building. They thought that they were doomed. It wasn't going to happen for them, not because they didn't think they had the numbers and the support, but because they thought the system was rigged and that the Democrats would game it against them. Well, that is all gone now. They are celebrating. They're in party mode. Donald Trump is due to join them soon. Uh, a complete turnaround of fortunes that I say no one saw it coming except for the party faithful and the billionaire himself. Donald Trump said he would make history and he has. On track to be the president of the United States of America, leader of the free world. Now, After tomorrow, telling everyone he would win, he well, almost has. A big win for Donald Trump in the state of Ohio. Donald right Trump's now, path to victory Clinton. started he with Ohio, the state that's backed every president since the 60s. Then Florida, North Carolina, Iowa, one by one, taking out the swing states he campaigned so hard in. You're watching history being made. Edging closer to the magic number, 270. It is remarkable what we're seeing here. It was Donald Trump versus almost all the experts. And as of right now, it looks like Donald Trump was right. As Trump's votes climbed, the stock markets plunged. All this news that seems to be excellent for Donald Trump uh, Wall Street and the markets are very, very jittery. Donald Trump watched it all from his golden tower, the city that never sleeps, wide awake, glued to this tight race. Do you think Trump might be sitting in the Trump Tower like right my, now? Yeah, saying, what am I going to do now? What, what do we do now? All right. <laughs> He'd voted early, arriving in a motorcade fit for a president. Protesters were waiting, but Trump was unfazed, showing his generous side, opening his wallet to a boy selling cookies. He took time with his vote and made sure wife Melania ticked the right box. One last wave for the media, then off to Trump Tower. He'd begun the day just like he ran his campaign, controversially. Before lodging a vote, he'd lodged a lawsuit claiming fraud in Nevada, but the judge threw it out. It's all hearsay. I mean, how, how are you going to match anything up? These, your vote's secret. But his son Eric did break the law, tweeting a photo of his own ballot. With both candidates in New York City just kilometres apart, security was unprecedented. 5,000 police on duty doubled the last election. Dump trucks full of sand circled Trump Tower and both camps' party venues to prevent any car bomb. Even the dessert caterer got a Secret Service escort delivering this life-size cake, ready to celebrate. This is a result that goes down in US history, a scenario that almost no one thought possible. A billionaire who became the voice for millions of working-class Americans. That silent majority, not so quiet anymore. Over 17 months, Donald Trump changed the country. He connected with people who'd never listened to politicians before and built an army of fierce, fiery supporters, a movement felt around the world. 
25 year old Anthony Fogus flew from Melbourne to support the Don. It's a phenomenon that's going on around the world and I think we're just jumping on to be here to support this event. It's once in a lifetime. Event. A once in a lifetime event many can't believe. I'm shaking like a leaf at the moment. This is, uh, this is terrible, terrible result. Unthinkable, I think. I don't think anyone really thought this was a serious thing for the entire uh, lead up to this election. I'm really shocked right now and I'm just overwhelmed with joy because I can't believe we're doing it. Let's go back to Chris Reason now. Chris, how far away do you believe Donald Trump is from claiming this historic victory? Well, right now, the, the polling and the, the, uh, the analysis on the, uh, from the major networks here and CNN particularly is putting the numbers at 267, as you know, Mark, and the audience now knows it undoubtedly as well. 270 is the magic number they've got to get to of Electoral College votes to declare and claim that presidency. It's expected that that will happen. And once that does happen, Donald Trump will finally emerge from Trump Tower, make his way up the couple of blocks here to the Hilton where I am now, and uh, address that party and, uh, and declare victory. Of course, we're waiting for a concession speech, first of all, from, uh, from Hillary Clinton, if that uh, pans out that way. But um, an extraordinary night in American history this evening, Mark. Back it sure you. is. We may be coming back to you very soon. Chris, thank you. As Chris said, the magic number to claim office is 270. This is how the vote unfolded. Look at all that red for Donald Trump. The blue represents Hillary Clinton. As you can see, Trump has claimed the crucial swing states of Pennsylvania, Florida, Ohio and North Carolina. Clinton has Nevada, Colorado and Virginia. Not enough to get her into the White House. As the counting goes on, all eyes are on these remaining swing states, Arizona, New Hampshire and Michigan, and we should have a result very soon. It is a very different mood in the Clinton camp this evening. Angela Cox is there for us. Ange, Clinton's campaign manager has just spoken. What did he have to say? Yeah, he just addressed the crowd here who've been waiting for hours, hoping there's some way that Hillary Clinton can claw her way back. He came out and said they weren't conceding called on them to bring it home and said that they'd have more to say tomorrow. This is certainly not the way Hillary Clinton's supporters thought this day would go. They thought by now they'd see her walking out on that stage behind me and giving a victory speech, celebrating under this glass ceiling, becoming America's first female president. Hillary Clinton confidently booked her party beneath a glass ceiling, but the only thing shattered were supporters as their dream shockingly caved in. They thought she was going to run away with this. America's vote showed a blistering rejection of the Washington establishment, not seen for decades. Before the polls even closed, Clinton tweeted, this team has so much to be proud of, whatever happens tonight, Thank you for everything. But this wasn't the story anyone predicted. It's going to put the polling industry out of business. <laughs> I don't know of one poll that suggested that Donald Trump was going to have this kind of night that he seems to be on track to have. Because so many, it now seems, grossly underestimated the power behind Donald Trump's message. Despite massive voter turnout, exit polls showed women didn't come in the numbers Clinton hoped. While up, the huge Latino wave never arrived. And just how much that FBI email investigation, a bombshell just 11 days ago, really hurt her is unclear. At this point, it seems Hillary Clinton's dream of moving back into the White House is unlikely. Voters have sent a clear message. They're tired of Washington insiders and look to have delivered Donald Trump his American Brexit. Her day started so differently. <laughs> relaxed at the polls in upstate New York. Where historically, like millions, she voted for the first female presidential candidate. So many people are counting on the outcome of this election, what it means for our country. Barack Obama, who staked his legacy on a Clinton win, played his traditional election day basketball and delivered a hopeful final message. No matter what happens, the sun will rise in the morning and America will still be the greatest nation on earth.
A nation that after two years of a bitter, toxic political fight has made its choice. But into the night they chanted. They believe Hillary can make history. Let's go back to Angela Cox at Clinton HQ. Angela, I'm guessing they no longer still believe it must be only a matter of time now before Hillary Clinton concedes. Given what John Podesta just said in his very short speech, it seems like she hasn't given up just yet. But given that she's just lost Pennsylvania, it's very difficult to see how she can win the White House. But you'll remember when Donald Trump was asked the one good thing he could say about Hillary Clinton, he called her a fight and she's clearly fighting this one all out. We're expecting to hear more tomorrow, Mark. She's in the corner now, Angela. Thank you. Let's go to our political editor, Mark Riley, who's in Washington for us tonight. Mark, from here it seems Donald Trump has picked up traditional Democrats as well as the tens of millions along the back roads of America who really do want someone to make a difference. Well, it's predicted that the Australian stocks tumbling. Yeah, Mark, we're seeing the birth of a new and powerful political movement here in, in America.